says, it's a bit like this, do you see? I has an allotment, and I grows all sorts of vegetables, as you can see here, to go into the annual vegetable and flower show down at the chapel. Well, you see, my mate Ronald, he also's in fierce competition with me. And it's been going on for years, I tell you, years and years. And he been at the other side of the hill, it means that he's in the lee of all these tempests and storms that we've had, and hurricanes and biblical proportion deluges that we've had all of this summer. It been a terrible summer for a growing plants and vegetables. So I thought that I one day I'd look at his lotment, just on a sneak view like you understand what my getting at, that there was all they vegetables all laid out in neat rows of better than mine, because mine had been a catching the brunt of all the deluges and biblical proportioned storms and a tempest we've had all this summer long. And my missus, you see, she was written home one night, a reading the Mother's Union pamphlet, and having a right snigger and a laugh in the corner by the fireside, and even the cat couldn't understand what was a going on. And I wondered what she were a reading. And when she'd gone upstairs, I had a look it by one of them there books you get out of the library, and it were fifty shades of grey. So I thought, as in as it was an amusing story, I would have taken it down to my allotment into the part and shed, and I would have a read to cheer myself up, because I knew that Ronald was going to beat me at the flower and vegetable produce show in the chapel. Anyways, I couldn't make head and a tail on it. I didn't understand it at all. I didn't I think it was very amusing. So I read it out. And me being not a literal type of feller, you see, is more interested in plants and vegetables, though I thought I'd best to read it out loud so I could understand the words a lot better. You understand my meaning? Well, I sat out there among the rows of beans and peas, a trying to decipher this humour in this book, and I was a reading away there, and I hears this a rustling. Oh, no, I thought it were Arnold and his missus a Sue a coming round to have a look at my vegetables, but there ain't nobody there. I couldn't reckon this up. So I reads a bit more, and it's a strange book, I tell ye. I never read the like on it afore. Only ever reading gardening books, you see. And when I look round, well, lo and behold, me lettuces that have started to grow. And I puts three and three together like you do, and I realised that it were a bit like that Prince Charles a feller. He talks to them plants in the palace and says it don't half a do em good. So I looked round like this to make sure that nobody was watching, otherwise they'd a think I'd a taken light of me head. And I read a little bit more, and lo and behold, them little seedlings, they was a-looking up as if they was really interested. I thought them parts can understand this here book, but car my life I couldn't understand what it were going on about. And you see, I been reading them on of a night all summer long, and I now am not frightened to go down to that vegetable show, cause I thinks I can do better than that Ronald fellow, you see. Mind you mustn't give away my secret. Just look at this here lettuce. Now I ain't that a beauty, eh? And only three days ago it was that piddling and small I mean, excuse my language, madam, he who could hardlings have sees it. So I thought, well, this is marvellous, and look at me cauliflowers. Now I have never seen cauliflowers as good as them two. God dear me, my lummy life, what a pair of cauliflowers. I've been treating these especially. I've been a-reading them chapter 23, because I could understand that a little bit. Although whatever that woman was a-getting at when she wrote that book, I don't know, but you've never seen them. I mean, look at the greenery on them, eh? Look at them, I mean, have you ever seen vegetables like them, eh? I think the vicar will be very pleased with them. If I give him them two to put in that flower show, I think I'll win, you see. And my missus, my missus Agnes, she's a-going to turn them into pickles, you see.
and I knows that Ronald Susan, she's a partial to that piccalilli. And you see, my missus will make a jar of piccalilli out of these here, they vegetables, and I thinks we'll win that and all. Now, what do you think of that? Ah, well, you see, the my mate Fred in the next lotment, he heard me a speaking one night when I was talking to me tapers, cause I had to get right down to the grim of them being underneath, you see, so they could hear what I was a saying to them. And I asked him about this here boot, and I said, had he heard of this here fifty shades of whatever grey? And he said that he had. And he didn't think that it were fit to be reading to vegetables in a garden, especially the young seedlings, as though he might disturb their feelings. And when he explained to me what it were all about, well, I got right embarrassed. And I thought I might again my little seedlings some psychological problems. So I was only very quiet and careful, but the leeks must have got hold of the birds before I realised. Gosh, look what's a happened to them. They's a grown to gigantic proportions, and I'm afraid that I couldn't have stopped them. And I have some lakes that's a growing and a beat no defence, and they's a interfering with Mabel's dahlias, and you wouldn't have believe it. I'm telling you, that book has magical powers. I think there ought to be a law against it. I don't know whether I dare enter these in the vegetable and flower show at the chapel now. No knows what I heard about this here book. I think that perhaps I've cheated. But don't he dare tell that Ronald or his Susan, or else I'll never live it down. <laughs>